Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Pastor Rodney Smiling coming to you again with more instruction from God's Holy Word and your daily drive-by. Yeah, listen, today I want to talk to you all about taking advantage of second chances. Second chances. You know, back in the day, there was an old saying that says you never get a second chance at a first impression. And so often, so many of us have had first impression mess ups, you know, first impression, you know, disasters. You know, sometimes we, you know, didn't take advantage of things that was offered to us. You know, I want to talk to you about relationships because, you know, this is what our topic is about. And, and you know, oftentimes, you know, I find out there are friends and maybe some of you have have experienced this and you know even recently this has happened to me where friends are trying to hook me up with somebody else you know and you know it's flattering and it's something that is um you know something that you you look at it and you say well hmm, i don't know about that you know and and oftentimes if you're not careful you will allow fear to be um in your soul and your mind and your spirit and you will not take advantage of the things that are being presented to you Remember this, the scripture says, God says, I know the plans that I have concerning you, thoughts of peace and not of evil to bless you and to give you an expected end. So it's important to know that you can take advantage of opportunities that are presented to you and ask the Lord, Lord, guide me this day. And if there's something presented to me that is not of your will, then Father, turn me away from it or shut that door, close that window. It's important to know that you don't have to let fear guide you for the rest of your life. Because let's be honest, you don't like being single. You don't like, you know, not having someone in your life. And so you do want somebody in your life. And oftentimes God will send angels to help you. So instead of you going out and saying, well, where do I start to date? Where do I start to look to find somebody? You know, do I go to the library? Do I go to the supermarket? Do I go to the mall? Or do I go to church? Or where do I go to find somebody? Listen, I would tell you, don't even find nobody. Trust God to present them to you. And what happens is that as you go throughout your life, I believe when you are following the purposes and plans that God has for your life, that God will connect you to people that otherwise you would not have met if you were not doing your purpose, if you were not doing your plan. So the first thing I think you should do is really inquire of God and really know and understand your purpose in life. Because your purpose in life will cause you to discount certain things and also to reject certain offerings. Why? Because it does not go in line with my purpose. It's like my purpose. I have to step off my purpose to hang with you. You know, oftentimes many of you have experienced this where you're in a relationship and it's like running on a treadmill that you got to run all the time and you got to keep up with nonsense. And it's like your brain, even your thoughts have to be shifted to even deal with them. You find yourself getting like you got this look on your face like what? What are you talking about? You know? And, and it's like, this is, I believe that these are signs that God gives you to let you know that this may not be the choice that God has for you. But one of the things I want to share with you is that sometimes God will send angels. He will send friends, friends that know you, people who love you, who will vet that person before that person is even introduced to you. And they'll sort of do research on them to give you sort of information about this person to say something about them. You know, I know oftentimes friends will come to me and it's like they're coming to me with a person as well as with the person's resume, <laughs> you know, like, you know, what the person can do and what the person has accomplished and all this like that. And, you know, that's less research that I have to do, you know. And but then you can look at the situation and say, you know, wow, you know, this is this is cool or this is not cool. You know, this is not a choice for me. This is a choice for me. Some of y'all has you have received pictures of, of your potential suitors and and like it's the dating game. It's amazing. But, you know, sometimes I think we are so spiritual until we forget the very basis of relationship. And that is to meet, to get to know one another. And so I want to talk to you that don't allow fear to keep you back from meeting somebody because you meet someone doesn't necessarily mean you have to get hooked up with them or get married to them. In fact, you can go out with somebody and say, you know what? This is not a good match for me. Be mature about it. Be grown about it. You know, it's important to know that sometimes we, we, you know, what gets us in trouble is that some of you, um, you get so caught up in fantasy. So when you meet somebody that you like and maybe they look good, you find yourself saying, um, well, all of a sudden you're fantasizing. You're at the dinner table and you're fantasizing about your gown or you're fantasizing about um, what your children will look like 
or you're fantasizing about what kind of lifestyle you're going to have or traveling on vacation. Come on, eat your dinner, have food, you know, eat your dinner and engage in conversation. Be present in the moment and take advantage of these opportunities that are being presented to you. And if it does not fit your purpose and your destiny, then immediately turn away from it. Don't waste time with it. You know, there's been people that I've met that when you first meet them, everything is fantastic. You can't stop talking to one another. You can't stop, you know, chatting on the phone. And I'm telling you, that's a problem. Because what happens is that if you just wait a little bit, you'll find that now it's not necessary to talk. Now it's not necessary to talk all the time. Why? Because what they showed you in the beginning was just that anxiety to get together. But then once they get with you, now it's like, oh, you're regular, regular. And I'm here to tell you, you need to ask yourself, what's going to happen three months or six months or a year from now? It's important to know that anybody who is anxious to hook up with you, I would back away from them. For the word of God says, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving, make your request known. So you pray to God. You ask God, Lord, bring someone in my life that you find is best for me. Now also pray this prayer. God, shut the door, even the door in me that keeps me fantasizing and wandering onto stuff. And let me take advantage of every opportunity that you've given to me. Sometimes some of the opportunities that God has given to you is when God is telling you to take a turn down a different street. Some of the times that God is, is presenting an opportunity to you, sometimes a thought may come to your mind. Go out to dinner. Go out to dinner tonight. You know, go to a movie. Go to this. You may meet somebody that you like, but also remember those friends and those family members, those who are saved, those who know the Lord, who trust God, make sure you explain to them, look, this is what I'm looking for and this is what I'm not looking for because then they could be your dating agents. They could be those who go out and they do the searching and the vetting for you. And then when that person is presented to you, you have a great basis of understanding of who this person is and it can be a start of a conversation because the, the the blessing to every relationship as well as the curse to every relationship is whether or not you have good or bad conversation. If you have good conversation, you can develop a good, strong relationship. If you have bad communication or if your communication is, is so one-sided, then your relationship is not going to be strong. So I encourage you today, take advantage of every opportunity that is presented to you. God bless you.